Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Networking Automation. So till now we have been learning on REST API, but not all routers have REST API. Consider Microtech, Router OS V7 which is still in development has REST API, but the V6 version that we are currently operating our actual environment on or have actually deployed doesn't has REST API. So how do we manage that through automation? So today what we are going to look in in the first step using SSH through a module known as NetMiko. So let's get into it. So this time around we are not going to be installing NetMiko through uh, pip. What we are going to do is we are going to search the NetMiko GitHub repository. Don't worry about it. I'll put this link in the description below so you don't have to search for it. And why are we doing this? Because the stable release has some issues with the Microtech communication and what we need to download is a development release which is the alpha release and we are going to download it and install it through terminal. So this is the repository that we want and the branch that we are looking for here is the development branch and just let's go to the code and copy this path and head over to our terminal screen. So in the terminal screen, let's make a directory Python netmiko and let's enter this directory. Here what we are going to do is uh, we are going to git clone the link that we just copied. So let's copy this link and so now it's copied. Uh, let's look at the directory, what all is there. So there is a directory netmiko Let's enter that and what all is there. So what we're looking for is this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pip install minus r requirements dot text. So what this basically is going to do is it's going to automate everything that is in requirements dot text, which holds what are the all the requirements for NetMiko, any dependencies and the module itself. So let's start it and see what happens. So our installation has been done and what we see is we have successfully installed NetMiko 4.0.0 alpha 4. So this is the release that we are looking for. Once this is done, you can close down your terminal screen and let's start with our PyCharm. So people who are using Conda uh, or have installed mini Conda uh, what they need to do is uh, they need to go into the virtual environment that has been created by PyCharm for your project and install NetMiko there. Uh, in case you're not doing that, uh, you will face problem that whenever you try to import NetMiko, you're going to get an error. Although you have installed NetMiko that there is some problem. So people who have installed Miniconda or Anaconda, they need to do this. Okay, so let's start with a new project today. So what we're going to do today is we are going to connect to our router via SSH using module NetMiko. And what we are going to do is we're going to fetch some configuration and we are going to configure our router using the same NetMiko module. So on the GitHub page of NetMiko, if you scroll down, uh, there is an example configuration which you can copy paste. This will help you. So you can copy this. That is from NetMiko, we are going to import first connect handler and we are going to define our router here. So we are going to remove Cisco. We are not going to be using Cisco. So we will define our router Microtech. So the device type is Microtech underscore router OS. The host is the IP address that we want to connect to. Username is the username of your device and the password is going to be the password and the default port on which you will allow SSH. So in Microtech routers, there is nothing known as secret. Uh, this is the property of Cisco routers. So you can comment this line out. But when you comment this line out, make sure that you remove comma from in front of the port. And in case you are not using password and like me, you're using keys. So you can add two attribute that is use keys. And so set this to true comma. 
and define where is your private key file so key file location and my key file is the users my folder dot ssh id underscore rsa so put this in single inverted commas and don't forget to put comma after each attribute that you are defining so let's get back to our github page and see the example once more so to establish the ssh connection we need to use this line so let's copy this and let's paste this out here so the name of our connection is going to be router underscore microtech so i just run the command to see if there are any errors coming right now there is no error coming so that means the connection was established and we can also verify this by going into the router once so let's open our router here and let's check the log of the router so it shows that there was an api login that did happen so don't worry about the fact that if you're getting a lot of these kind of errors from your ssh uh, like me you can always put a script uh, which blacklists all the ssh connections that are incoming plus my username is protected by private key so you should always use private public key to connect to ssh once you have the public key ssh communication enabled the router will not allow password type login so this is true for microtech routers for other routers you need to go through the manual so the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to execute some commands so let's copy this and let's head back to pycharm and paste this so what we need to do now is this is the object that is created net connect and in net connect we want to send a command so let's send a command which our router will understand send a command interface print this is what our router will understand and let's see what is the output that we get from this okay so we have got an output and it is exactly what we see in our router os terminal screen so here it means that whatever we execute here is going to execute as is like in our terminal screen so let's do one thing let's create a list of commands that we need to execute so for first let's create an interface bridge add and let's name it netmiko interface so here what we are doing is we are creating an interface netmiko and we are saying not to disable it the second command that we want to run here is we want to give this interface an IP address. So IP address add address equals to 172.172.16.1 slash 32 interface is equals to netmiko and disabled is equals to no. Now to run the set of commands, what we need to do is send config underscore set and we are going to send this variable where the commands are stored so this variable name is commands so we have made a couple of changes in this line also that is we are not sending a command but we are sending a configuration set now and we are going to be sending it as a variable which is a list of commands so let's see what happens when we run this time around okay so this has run but the output is pretty skewed so the commands are executed and the code has finished with an exit code zero but the output is pretty skewed it's printing one character at a time and it's printing the whole line then so let's go into our router and verify if the command was actually executed and we see that the ip address was formed on an interface netmiko and if we go to the interfaces then there is one interface with netmiko okay so i've been talking to the developer of netmiko and uh, to get this resolved this particular issue where the characters are printing and this whole line is printing this pretty skewed output but when you think about it when you are giving some commands to configure 
you actually do not need an output correct because this information is just that you are putting and I would always recommend you that whenever you are building a script to input commands into your routers you test this script out on a test router before you give it on production on the other hand if you are absolutely adamant that you do need it then let's do a couple of changes in our code set so that it will work properly in present scenario so the first change will be that we will use a for loop for commands in commands and we'll take this output but we will not send config set but we will send the command so send command and we will send the commands and command verify is true and print the output so what is going to happen now is the for loop is going to iterate through each of the items in the list and the list is this commands so interface bridge add name net miko disabled is equals no and ip address add address 172.172.16.1 slash 32 on interface net miko and disabled is equals to no so in the background what i have done is i have deleted both the interface and the ip address that were inputted with the earlier uh, execution of this code otherwise we'll just throw out an error that this interface and this ip address already exists i don't want that to happen so for not that to happen i have already deleted that so let's run it this time around and see what happens now this time around it works properly and we see just two outputs here that is a command has been run i interface bridge add name net miko disabled is equals to no and ip address add address 172 1 slash 32 interface net miko disabled no as such whenever we input the commands into the ssh of the router we never get an output back it is only when we print that we get an output back so now to verify if both the commands have been executed what we are going to do is we are going to change these two commands and we are going to print the interface and we are going to print the ip address so let's run and see what happens perfect so we have got the interface and we see our interface here netmeco and we see the ip address here so you have been working with me on python first with rest api executions and now with netmeco so as a small exercise do one thing this output that we have got this output that is of ip address print or that is of interface print this is all in an unstructured format when i say unstructured format this means that this is all in type text or type string so if i do print type of output what you will see is that the type that is going to print out is a type of string so we see this is a class string which is an unstructured format of data had we got a list or had we got a dictionary format that is we have got a key and a value format as in json it would have been a structured format we would have been able to work with it very easily all we needed to do was fetch the item in the list or we needed to fetch a value based on the key but here it is all in a string a paragraphical format right so how do you structure it work on it this is the way that you will learn python also so i hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and you enjoyed today's demo and you were able to learn something do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this series and how it's going please do like my video and please do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates and we will meet very soon with the next module that is paramico so till the next time goodbye